Okay. Here we have the uh, Hamilton Nobias laminar flow wing adaptations we're going to be talking about. This is a good example here of the aircraft. We, we took um, a little out of scale right now. We've got a quarter scale coming up. But here's a good example of the Nobias, Hamilton Nobias laminar flow disc that's being used on this wing. Now, as you can see, a fairly simplistic approach right now, you know, to put these discs on. But what we are, what we're going to see in the videos that follow, is that uh, on this aircraft here, which is very draggy to begin with, we're adding what normally uh, in aeronautical language would be counterproductive. It looks like we're adding uh, more drag, and uh, of course, any lifting device has its in, uh, it has its drag, especially as it produces lift. But use of laminar flow in these discs, and we're also showing here where we're doing the tough studies with the camera on the wing, so we're getting a, a pretty good idea of what these laminar flow devices are going to do. Now in this case, um, we want to touch upon a few things I've been doing with, uh, with radio control. Uh, the, one of the best and easiest is if you're going to use one of these electric starters that off the battery of the car, which you always want to do because your car battery always has enough amperage to really flip these suckers. You can flip up to 1.6 1 on these OS and I'll only use OS. That's all we'll use. Is we, I, we, I always adapt a, a Duracell or one of these batteries here that have, you know, we uh, solder on some little uh, 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 lines to it so we can always put a glow starter on. Now these little glow starters are perfect because you know exactly what voltage you want. The, uh, the anything else doesn't work very good. So just adapt your own glow starters. But here we're going to go. Right now we're, we're not going to fly this very instant. We've already flown. The, uh, we're just taking a break. Oh, by the way, this is my Stealth. It has a Dodge logo on it, but actually it's a Mitsubishi made in Japan. Beautiful car. I love it. Uh, but on this one right now, and this is the area where we do a lot of flying in. This is uh, Bull Verde. The little school here was made uh, just last year. My net, my uh, granddaughter goes to it. It's a Johnson Ranch Elementary. As I understand it, old man Johnson passed away. He was in his 70s, but uh, this area was uh, either probably given uh, to the county to put this school in. And there's the mountains and the haze. We were flying in the clouds earlier. Uh, good day for, for me as a pilot, bad day for flight because we can't really get up into elevations. But okay, the airplanes we're going to be flying on this Hamilton Nobias uh, experiment and demonstration is to show that this little airplane's uh, overall performance is increased. Its speed is not affected one bit by the... Uh, uh, by these additions of the laminar flow devices on the wings. Now we're patent pending, so uh, you don't have to worry too much. You can uh, get out there and experiment with this, but if you try to make any money, please talk to me about it first, okay? In the United States, that is, uh, Great Britain and the Netherlands. Okay, now as far as this aircraft goes, it's not an extremely fast aircraft. You know, it, it doesn't, it only has a little uh, 40, 46 OS on it, but that, that's pretty good to pull it around. We're probably pulling at 60 miles an hour in a dive. We might get up a little over that, but much too draggy right now. But the example here is that the discs do not degradate the performance or speed. They actually increase performance by allowing this airplane to become very, very maneuverable and fly, if at all things, at a very low speed. So uh, you can imagine the, the overall benefits of this structure. And the addition of the Hamilton Nobias uh, winglets uh, for laminar flow uh, catch is that they, they almost ensure a perfect flight every time. These, the, this event, the, these structures right here will allow a beginner flyer oh so much more time to fly with. Even if they're flying a jet airplane. Now these things are uh, designed theoretically uh, for any pre-existing are to be designed aircraft that uses a lifting wing and that includes helicopters uh, also uh, is adaptable for uh, the the impeller blades of jet engines so we're talking about a pretty dynamic effect and we will go into the flight demonstrations but what we're trying to get to right now 
is that this just this little beauty as adapted it's a hangar 9 model with the of course those evo engines pulled off of it and uh, os always put on we're going to go from this one to a 50 pound aircraft this is an eight pound aircraft and we're going to go up to 50 pounds for demonstrations okay just one last look at the field around had some uh pigeons out here somebody has a big flock of pigeons flying around wish i could get a little on them but as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous area uh, i'm lucky to live in a part of uh, texas san antonio area that's very close to the coast uh we're uh, of course uh, not in the uh, area that will be affected by that oil spill by bp out there but <laughs> other than that we're in pretty good shape the community is growing of course by leaps and bounds uh, we're in the actual Bull Verde area, and it just gives you a beautiful idea of some of the country around here and where, where we fly. This is my little flight zone. It's a roadway in front of the school. The school's not operated uh, during the summer or on weekends, so this is my north, southwest. I even have a little bit of a easterly, and then I have a good uh, east, uh, east-west here, as you can see on this part. And there's our street sign. Uh, L-A-R-I-A-T, Lariat and Johnson Way, Johnson Way. Wind's picking up a bit. I'm out of fuel right now, but uh, what, we're just getting down the basics so we can, we can figure out where we're going to go with this thing, okay? Thank you, and we'll continue with the flight.